This is the story of a brother who, if not for the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, would have been completely lost. Imagine losing everything, your peace, your ability to work, your connections to reality, all slipping away without knowing why. The brother's no. life was spiraling out of control and the family didn't even know the cause. What happens when you fight the battle you don't even see coming? It was the year 2019. The team of Rukya Healing had just begun mastering the diagnostic techniques when we were contacted by a distressed wife. Her husband, once a strong provider, had fallen into a deep well of depression and anxiety so severe that he was not able to work anymore. His personality had drastically changed and the family unaware that spiritual ailments was a cause watched in horror as their once vibrant loved one deteriorated before their very eyes. He spent days locked in the room breaking down in tears. With him being the sole breadwinner, the family faced an escalating financial crisis. They had previously sought help from uh, a sheikh for Rukhya, but his demanding schedule, the treatment was left incomplete, leaving the family in complete despair. That's when our team sprang into action. Upon diagnosing the husband, it was immediately clear that his mind was under siege by spiritual ailments, rendering him helpless. Every time he tried to open up his laptop, he would break down into tears. Sleepless nights haunted him and on very rare occasions he did take rest but it was only for a few short hours. A dark cloud of negativity surrounded him, pushing him into isolation, away from the world of his loved ones. As the team started to dig deeper, the truth began to unravel that it wasn't just depression or anxiety, something far sinister grip of him. Multiple forms of black magic and jinn had invaded his life. The team identified several types of sihr, several types of black magic. For example, sihr mu'allaq, that is hanging type of black magic was identified as well as sihr, that is eaten black magic and sihr mashroob was were identified as well. What would you do if every time you tried to work, your mind betrayed you with uncontrollable tears? If your soul felt like it was chained to despair? But what happens next during the treatment will shock you. His reactions were so intense, it took two people just to restrain him. The treatment began immediately, but it wasn't without challenges. During Rukhya sessions, his reactions to the recitation of the Quranic ayahs were violent and extreme. The jinn would manifest, causing him to thrash and shout uncontrollably. His father was called in to assist standing by his side as the battle against the unseen forces intensified. Alhamdulillah, once the black magic was broken and the jinn had left the body, his life slowly began to turn around. But even though the spiritual battle was over, the scars remained. Despite being freed from the spiritual if affliction, he still harbored a deep fear that the jinn was inside him. With patience and further diagnosis, we assured him that he was indeed free. Yet, anxiety lingered. The mere sight of his laptop triggered overwhelming dread, a shadow of his former torment. Through a careful counseling, we guided him through his fears, helping him regain control of his emotions. Slowly but surely, he returned back to work and life began to settle back into a rhythm of normalcy. To this day, the brother, when we ask him, he looks back in disbelief at how drastically his life changed due to the affliction. He says, it's something you can't fully understand unless you have lived it. The lessons we learned from this is, number one, families often don't realize that they are dealing with spiritual ailments until it powerfully disrupts someone's personality and life. 
Number two, delaying the treatment for spiritual ailments can rapidly worsen a person's condition. Number three, spiritual afflictions can dominate the mind, driving a person into isolation and despair. Number four, it's common for multiple forms of black magic to be present, a stark reality for many who are being afflicted. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from all kinds of evil. Don't let your guard down. Remember, you're a scar. Stay strong and be aware of the unseen. For what you can't see can sometimes be the most dangerous thing of all.